friends welcome to any universe double 2 in this video we will try to understand steam jet refrigeration the principle of steam jet refrigeration is to boil the water below 100 degree celsius and under the reduced temperature condition so it is possible to boil the water below 100 degree celsius when it is possible when atmospheric pressure is reduced and high vacuum is created so this is this is possible so if pressure is reduced here uh, i will give some data if pressure is reduced to 6.5 cm of water the water boiling temperature is 10 degree celsius and if it is further reduced to 5 cm of water then water may even boil at 6 degree celsius so therefore the principle of boiling the water at low temperature by decreasing the pressure is employed in steam jet refrigeration and this process we will try to understand with the help of a diagram so this is the diagram in which this is a flash chamber and it is injector this is condenser these are the main parts pump this is also another pump it is refrigerated space or we can say evaporator and this is spray header and these are spray nozzles and this is the pipe for steam and the steam comes from we can say that is come from boiler this is the boiler and it is steam nozzle so here we can say this uh, this container is called flash chamber and it is initially filled with water so this chamber is filled with we can say that is water and here the top of the container this is the top of the container and piping these are interlinked with injector so this is a injector with which it is connected so when steam from the uh, steam from the boiler this is the steam from the boiler when it passes through the nozzle so so when it is flowing like that so it acquire high velocity and causes so here is the vapors these are the vapors 
so it will suck the vapors and gases present above water surface in the flash chamber to be carried along the condenser so the warm water is comes from refrigerated space and when this water is spread through spray nozzle so due to evaporation vapors formed and the vacuum created by high velocity stream it suck the vapors from the flash chamber and also reduces the pressure so here the low pressure above water surface so here is the low pressure above the water surface in the flash chamber causes to evaporate more water and cool the water and this cooled water this is the chilled or cooled water that is pumped to the refrigerated space and here it becomes warm by absorbing the heat in the refrigerated space yeah it absorb the heat and it again return to the flash chamber through the spray nozzle and here is some loss of water due to evaporation so here loss of water that is compensated by the condenser so this water that is compensated with the help of a pump from the condenser and in condenser there is another makeup water arrangement for fulfilling the requirement so here we can see the main principle of steam jet refrigeration is to boil the water below 100 degree celsius by reducing the pressure so in this video we have learned how steam jet refrigeration process takes place and the main components of steam jet refrigeration system and and here i want to discuss some methods of refrigeration first method is ice refrigeration second is dry ice refrigeration third is air expansion refrigeration fourth is evaporative refrigeration next is vapor compression refrigeration next is vapor absorption refrigeration next is steam jet refrigeration that we have discussed in this video next is gas throttling refrigeration next is liquid gas 
रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड लास्ट वन इज थर्मो इलेक्ट्रिक रेफ्रिजरेशन सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव लर्नड द वर्किंग ऑफ स्टीम जेट रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्टीम जेट रेफ्रिजरेशन एंड वेरियस मेथड्स ऑफ रेफ्रिजरेशन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स सब्सक्राइब फॉर मोर वीडियो एन यूनिवर्स डबल टू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए नाइस डे